Richard Garfield was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and spent his childhood in many locations throughout the world as a result of his father's work as an architect. However, his family eventually settled in the state of Oregon when he was 12. Garfield is also the great-grandson to U.S. President James A. Garfield, and his great-uncle invented the paperclip. Garfield studied mathematics at the University of Pennsylvania. He always had a keen interest in puzzles and board games, which sparked an interest in game development. During his time there at the university, he invented a game called Robo Rally. While searching for a publisher for Robo Rally, Wizards of the Coast reached out to Garfield about making a game for them. Wizards of the Coast expressed interest in a fast playing game with minimal equipment, something that would be popular at a game convention. They asked Garfield to develop a game that was cheaper to produce than Robo Rally, that can be more portable and easier to carry around to conventions. Garfield did have an idea about combining baseball cards with a card game and began turning that rough idea into a complete game over the next week. But Magic the Gathering was not the first name choice when it was conceived. Garfield built older prototypes of a game that dated all the way back to 1982, when he had created a game called Five Magics. Garfield combined ideas from previous games to invent the first trading card game, Mana Clash, which then had its name changed to Magic the Gathering, and worked on it in secret under a shell company called Garfield Games. The game we today call Magic the Gathering, which is considered to be the first modern collectible card game, Magic the Gathering was first released in 1993 with its release of Alpha, Magic the Gathering's first set, and its success spawned many sets to be created like Arabian Nights, Legends, and The Dark. I had this idea for a trading card game and it took me a while to, to maybe six months before I came up with a framework for Magic. Um, but that framework itself was taken from um, uh, games I've been designing all through the 80s. Since then, Garfield has created multiple games that are still popular today, but his time at Wizards of the Coast was cut short, and he left Wizards in December 2000 after Hasbro sold the D&D computer game rights and cancelled the project. However, Garfield was asked to help out on future Magic the Gathering sets, and his last and perhaps final set he had a hand in developing, Dominaria, which was released in 2018. Even though Garfield has left the world of Magic, there are countless games he has since been developing, where he continues his passion and love for mathematics, puzzles, and games. But he'll always be remembered as the father to Magic the Gathering. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you do, remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And if you enjoyed it that much, maybe you'd like to tip me. I have a PayPal link that you can send me tips if you enjoy these videos, and I can keep bringing them to you that way, and it could help my cardboard crack addiction. So please think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next